woods is here.
Look like hammered shit, Mason. <laughs> Nam would do that to you. It's good to see you, Alex. Jason Hudson, CIA. We're here to talk about your encounter with Russians in Laos. We got word a defector might be in play. Today, communications are in chaos, and commercial flights from the airport have been canceled. While some the dead offensive was the beginning of the end, when America really started losing the war. Inside the MACV compound in Way City, you established contact with the Russian defector. No! We know you did! He turned himself in at MACV! You were there, Mason! He had intel on Dragovich! Everything! But it was a lost cause! Shut the fuck up! The NVA had surrounded the city! MACV had all but burned to the ground! The defector was surely dead! He wasn't dead! It was a lost cause, and you still went in! Why? His protection team had gone dark. I couldn't accept that he was dead. I needed that fucking dossier! <laughs> Wait, City. That's when things really started to unravel for you, Mason. The defector. MACB compound in sight. You are jumping into some deep shit, Woods. We're here to yank a defector with vital intel on Soviet involvement in Nam. We lost contact with his security team. He may be holed up in the MACB safe room. Tough son of a bitch. Yeah! <laughs> 
Safe room's been breached. Tango down. So where's your contact? You might have fallen back to the command room. You may still be alive. Let's move. On me. Roger that, Lima Niner. You better get your asses in gear if you want an evac. Let's go. We should be in one of these rooms. Mason, take the door at the far end of the hallway. Boom it. I'm me. I'm coming in. Nice. Reznov. How'd you get out of Vakuda? Never thought I'd see you alive. Not are you, my friend. I am here with a warning. Your government would do well to heed. Dragorvich is planning an attack on the West. Vincent, you get what you came for? Dragorvich, I knew we'd see him again. His influence spreads like a cancer. Even the Kremlin does not know what he is truly planning. He must be stopped, Mason. Dragovich, Dreshenko, must die. All must die. Are these your men? Woods, Bowman. I am rest. Vic, what took you so long, Mason? That intel better be worth it. Lima Niner, where the hell's our pickup? X-ray, be advised. Marine forces are engaged in heavy fighting west of the MACB. Push through to Rally Point Delta, two clicks north on the river. We'll make it! You just be there! We're gonna need some close air support for this shit! Put it together! And give me that radio! That's OG? Just give me the radio! That shit! Texas, this is Sierra Oscar Gold X-ray! Priority 1, ordinance of my command! I authenticate Gold 2, over! Roger, X-ray, hold tight!
these guys safe! Got it! was here in Way City. He was the defector. He came back for you, Mason. Reznov was back. Still in one piece, my friend. <laughs> I'm good. Mason! You okay, brother? I'm still breathing. We'll see you at the rally point. The CSU is right above us. Put a charge on the ceiling! Blow the floor beneath them! I got Charlie in my pocket here, one zero. How much longer? Got three yeah. seconds. Ready? Good work, Mason! There's a ride! I'm not so sure. Get the wounded first. More birds on their way. Sit tight. X-ray, air support is offline while we evacuate the wounded. Looks like we gotta wait. Everyone load up! I want this LZ secure! Mason, set up charges around the perimeter! Get the wounded first. More birds on their way. Sit tight. Courage could be the result of their newfound ally. We have the dossier that the defector gave you at Mac Vig. We've ID'd all of Dragovich's men. Kopchenko, Steiner, Clark. You know them. Masterminds of Project Nova. <sighs> Nova 6. Reznov called it Nova 6. Dragovich. What do you know about Dr. Clark? We know that Clark was the chemical engineer who formulated Nova 6. Malignant narcissist. Degenerate prodigy. 
Your handler, Jason Hudson, was sent to Kowloon to interrogate Clark. Do you remember? Why keep asking? You already know everything! No, Mason, we don't know what the numbers mean. We don't know where they're broadcast from. <laughs> well, why don't you ask Hudson? Kowloon was his mission. He interrogated Clark. Get it? If you think your government-sponsored brutality intimidates me, you clearly don't know anything about Dragovich. I have nothing to gain by talking to you. Think about what you have to lose. All day. We got plenty of windows. Or you can give us what we want and we guarantee your safety. <laughs> I'm already a dead man. I've been hunted across every corner of the globe. But if you found me so well, they know everything you know. They're probably on their way now. Why? Dragovich doesn't like to things. I've never even dealt with him directly. Only Steiner, the German. What was the nature of your business? I was hired to help stabilize certain volatile compounds. What kind of compound? Nova 6. Biochemical weapon. You let them right to me! very well prepared for a dead man. <laughs> Just because I accept the inevitability of my fate does not mean I'm in any hurry to embrace it. Whatever you say, English. Okay, on me!
Two more assholes below. No problem. I got it. Ragnovich is going to a lot of trouble to shut you up. What are you not telling us? I told you about Nova 6. Where is their base? Nam? Laos? Cambodia? Jota! Euro Mountains! Yamatal! That's where you'll find Steiner. In his final preparations for Project Note. What else? Whispers, rumors, anything. Steiner told me that
Where are we headed? Clark ID a Nazi scientist working for Dragovich. His name's Steiner. We're going to Russia, Mount Yamantau. We know that Jason Hudson briefed you on the intel extracted from Dr. Clark and Kowloon. Hudson said that Clark was insane. Paranoid. Fixated with numbers. Clark created Nova 6. A nerve toxin that can rupture a body in seconds. Dragovich is second in command. Kravchenko tests it in Vietnam. On them? On us? On his own? <laughs> he doesn't care. Reznov told me at Vokuda. What did he tell you? Mason, listen to me. It was a long time ago. Far away. Dragovich, Stein, Kravchenko, all must die. But he told me what they did. What kind of men they were. Why they all must die. My father was a musician in Stalingrad. During the German occupation, the sound of his violin filled the air with magnificent music. Korsakov, Stasov, many of the great nationalist composers. To my countrymen, it was a symbol of hope. To the Germans, it was a symbol of defiance. Even now, his music still haunts me. The Nazis slit his throat while he slept. Collaborating with any Nazi is a betrayal, a betrayal against all of Mother Russia. Dragovich, Kreshenko were not troubled by such matters. They look only to advance their own interests and agendas. Everything is loaded. They are waiting. Victor, it is time. Yes, Dmitry. Time to hunt down the last remnants of the fascist Reich. Nevsky, grab the gear. We are moving out. The men and I have fought through the most bitter of winters on the Eastern Front. We were no strangers to cold, but even now, the blood in my Veins chills when I think back to the events of that day. Ah. ah! The hero of Berlin graces us with his presence. Have you not tired of battle with him? As long as Mother Russia has enemies, I will answer her call. Put aside your petty rivalry, Kravchenko. Captain Reznov will do as he is told. We are here for one German! And one German only, Dr. Friedrich Steiner. This man has offered his cooperation to our cause. He is not to be harmed. Disobey this order, and you will be shot. What happened in Stalingrad, between you and Dragovich? When the German occupation began, he and his laptop, Dragenko, left my men and I hopelessly outnumbered. Promises of reinforcements were made. Made, but not kept. Dragovich and Dragenko are opportunists, manipulators. They are not to be trusted, Dmitry. Dmitry Patrenko was one of the bravest men I have ever known. He fought by my side from the siege of Stalingrad to the fall of Berlin. The wounds he sustained 
ensuring our victory should have earned him a hero's welcome to Russia. But Stalin had little need for heroes. The German must not be harmed! We need Steiner alive! Now move! Both of you! Let's go! It is good to fight for your side once more. Yes, One final victory. Search every corner of this camp. He will be where all cowards reside. As far away from the battlefield as possible. After this mission, do you think we will go home? I hope so, Dimitri. I hope so.
Frederick Stein. Do not point that weapon at me, Russian dog! You will take me to Dragovich. As I looked into the German's eyes, I saw the flashes the Reich is still burning strong. At that moment, every fiber of my being yearned to put an end to his wretched life. But I was a soldier then. I still believed in orders. Reznov, bring your men! What is here that is so important? General Dragovich wishes to make a name for himself. He believes this outpost houses something of great value to the motherland. Dragovich and Steiner are talking like old friends. I do not like this, Reznov. No, I do not. We must hurry! Young there are Germans who would soon as he <laughs> destroyed and captured. You assured me there would be no problems. I cannot control the actions of the SS, General Dagovich. They are sworn to defend the Reich till their last breath. Noble, but futile. Zdravchenko, finish up here. Reznov, you and your men will lead the way. Yes, sir! Petrenko, Vikarev, Nevsky, Bolo! They are moving out! Steiner, tell me more about your association with the Gift Eager Stern Project. In 43, the Fuhrer realized the Allies could not be held back for much longer. We began to look for more unconventional solutions. Throughout the war, my own research was focused on chemical weapons. It was meticulous and frustrating work. However, what we finally developed was a weapon more effective than we had ever dared to imagine. The weapon now housed within this vessel. Nova Six. affected the Nervo 6 chemical may be, you still had to find a way to unleash it. Long-range V2 rockets to be launched from this outpost. The targets were command and control centers. Washington DC was our first target. Then Moscow. Hmm. Ambitious and commendable, Herr Steiner. But we were too late. The British were upon us and their bombers crippled the ship. Locked in the ice, we tried to salvage what we could. But it was too late. Germany had surrendered, and a Russian flag flew over Berlin. The SS had orders to destroy the ship if we were attacked. Clearly, they failed. The explosives were never activated. This is it. Reznov, open the door. We had found what we were looking for. Nova 6. The German weapon of mass disruption now belonged to Mother Russia. Or so it seemed. Our victory was to be short-lived. Dragovich wanted to see the effects of the poison firsthand. It was also an opportunity to remove a thorn in his side. I had long known of their distrust. The kind of men they were. It was a betrayal. I should have foreseen. Uh. 
The military contract is a hero. It deserves the hero's death. Instead of giving his life for the glory of the motherland, he died for nothing. Like an animal. He should have died in Berlin. As I watched my closest friend die, it became clear we were not the only ones seeking the German weapons. The Western Allies circled my fortress. Of course, Dragovich, Kroshenko, and Steiner scattered like rats, leaving me to contend with the British. British commandos assaulting our positions! into the depths of hell. We cannot let either side possess this terrible weapon. It was only after I was captured and sent to Vokuda that I learned of Dragovich's true intentions. He will die before he gives up on Nova Six. Mason, listen to me. We are running out of time, my friend. Can you trust your leaders to destroy it? Or do you think they will use it? The flag may be different, but the methods are the same. They will use you as they used me. You must decide. <laughs> 
Decide what you think is worth fighting for. Dragovich, Kravchenko, Stein. These men must die. Hudson's mission at Kowloon was accomplished. He had discovered Dragovich's endgame, Nova 6. A nerf toxin so deadly that if exposed, you'd be dead before you hit the floor. Dragovich's weapon. Go back to Vietnam, Mason. Was Victor Reznov still with you after you escaped from the MACD compound? <sighs> Reznov was with me the whole time. Are you sure? North. We went north. Viet Cong. <sighs> we were shut down. And Reznov even survived that. Dragovich's laptop Krevchenko was there. He knew we were coming. <laughs> <laughs>